We are back from vacation. It's been eight days since I turned the camera on and you can see the plant is quite a bit bigger. It's come out about four feet here all around and we actually have a pumpkin on. So we've got some good size to that pumpkin. That is probably about the size of a common carving pumpkin at Halloween and that's only grown in one week. So that makes our pumpkin decision fairly easy. We're going to keep this one. I didn't plan on keeping it, but it's the only one we have right now. So if you want to grow a giant pumpkin, there's only one major rule that you want to follow, and that is to not let your pumpkin grow on top of the vine like ours is right now. It's already touching and rubbing that vine. So I have to get this pumpkin moved over and get this vine moved over to free up some space. We have full sun and full heat. So I want to move this vine and free up some space for this pumpkin to grow. The vine is in the grass, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to move, but I'm going to pick it up now and try to just pull it all over and see if I can get a really nice 90 degree corner on the vine by the pumpkin. And that's going to give it lots of room to move. Because in a week or two, I won't be able to lift that pumpkin to move it. So I have to do a lot of my moving right now. I can see why people don't grow on mounds and piles. It's so much easier to do this in a flat level garden. So I'm going to keep moving it over the course of a couple days. So I should shovel this out if I was smart. I didn't bring a shovel. I'm going to bare hand it. And as we dig in there, look at these nice roots. So that's crazy. That is how far. These are all pumpkin roots. That's an awesome view right there. So these are coming from here. And then we've got one up in there. We've got one here. And those roots are going everywhere through this pile now right into the leaves. Look at that growing right through the leaves. That didn't take too long and it immediately looks better. So there's a good look from the top view. I want to take this pumpkin and move it over here slowly over the course of a week. Get this in place where it's going to stay for the rest of the year. I'll keep the table over top of the pumpkin. I really like keeping the pumpkin shaded for the rest of the year. We want to keep the pumpkin skin really soft with lots of elasticity in it, lots of movement because it's going to start to grow some big numbers here. We have a little bit of clearance under there, but that's going to disappear here in a few days. It's two days later and we're running out of room under that little table. So at this point, I really need to get this pumpkin where it's going to stay for the rest of the year. I have to dig away the compost pile, make a lot of room here now because it's easier to do it now than it is later. A pumpkin takes so much water on and this is a really good example. Those roots are dripping where I severed them. During peak growth in a few weeks, a pumpkin plant will easily take 100 gallons of water a day. So. They are definitely water hungry. I have to up my watering here. I have not watered this pumpkin enough and that's pretty good proof there. Like this whole plant is just full of water and it is sucking as much water out of this compost as it can find. But for now anyway, we've got some room in there. There's room to move, there's room to move the pumpkin. It has been a very dry year and I've been under watering this plant. When I cut into the roots of the plant the other day, I could see how much water they had and how much water they want. And I realized that I'm definitely underwatering this plant. This is the next day and you can see that pumpkin is almost to the top of that table. That pumpkin has been really growing well and I haven't watered it enough. We haven't got any rain. So it's kind of telling me it looks like a horse that wants to run. So I'm going to give it some water with a fire hose and I'm going to start to heavily water this plant for the next couple weeks here and we're going to see what kind of growth we can get out of this pumpkin. So way back here at the river, I have a gas powered pump hooked up into the river. So I'm just going to pull really nice river water. It's going to be warm. It's going to be healthy and nutritious. Uh, so I'll pump the water from there onto the plant. We'll fire this thing up and we'll get some water onto this plant. We got water. So it's only been a few days really since we moved it around, moved the vine around, and that pumpkin's definitely grown. You know, you could remember the before picture from 48 hours ago, it's definitely growing and that had no water. It hasn't rained in over a week. So now with that watering, I'm going to grab a measuring tape. I'm gonna take a quick measurement on it today. Circumference is always fun to watch your circumference when growing a giant pumpkin because these pumpkins do a lot of inches every day. So let's get a measurement on it and then we'll check back tomorrow and see what that water did and how many inches we can get out of this thing. Run around there. 50 inches. This probably will be our last day using the table as a shelter. There is not much room under there, maybe an inch. It'll be interesting to see how much that closes up in the next 24 hours. 
Well, I think the pumpkin really liked that water because we are now hitting the table. I came out this morning to check and see, so it's only been about 12 hours since I watered this plant, so uh, that put on a few inches. 54 and a half inches, so we got four and a half inches circumference growth in that in 12 hours. That's, that's pretty crazy. That's some very good growth. So I'm gonna keep up with the watering, try not to blow this thing up. Um, but you can see visually in 12 hours that pumpkin is bigger, a lot bigger. So that's, that's kind of surprising. I wasn't expecting this kind of growth here with the compost, but it uh, clearly likes what it's getting out of that pile. We're back at the compost pile with the giant pumpkin growing on top of it. And today is a big day for measuring. It's day 20 since I pollinated that pumpkin. So this pumpkin is 20 days old. For the first 20 days, pumpkins kind of grow at different rates and it's not really that important, but from day 20 to day 40, so for the next 20 days, we're gonna get our peak pumpkin growth. So I'd like to track that for you. So today on day 20, I wanna take some exact measurements of this pumpkin and there's really good estimation tools where when you take three measurements, which I'll show you, you can get a very close estimate of how heavy your pumpkin is. The first measurement we want to take is called side to side. So we want to go right across the side of the pumpkin. So straight down to the ground, across the widest point of our pumpkin, straight down to there is 40 inches. They have really good apps where you can just plug your numbers in, it's super easy. And then the next one we want is this way, end to end. 40, 41. And then next is the circumference, which is what we have been measuring. 61 inches. So with those three measurements tallied, we have 142 total inches. So you can find online these weight estimation charts and you can put in your inches and, and see where you're at or the apps do it for you. Uh, so with 142 inch pumpkin, this is estimated at 79.3 pounds. So we pretty much have an 80 pound pumpkin here after 20 days. So at this point, we're day 20. We are now entering the heavy days coming up here. The next 20 to 25 days will be our biggest weight gains that we experience growing this pumpkin. So we've really been talking a lot lately about the fruit growth, the pumpkin, because hey, that's the most fun part. Um, but the plant is still growing too. What I've noticed and what you want to notice if you're trying to grow a big pumpkin is the vines actually slow down when the pumpkin starts to take over. So we haven't had a ton of growth out of these secondary vines, which I really like seeing. So we're pretty much at the point where I will start to actually deadhead and cut off some of these side vines. And that is to basically signal to the plant that it's time to grow a pumpkin here. I don't want to grow any more vines. All right, it's an early morning, three days later. I'm going to take a measurement. We can see how many pounds this pumpkin was doing. So we're at day 22. So it's actually only the last two days that we are calculating weight, um, but we were at 79 pounds and we now are 109 pounds. So about an average of 15 pounds a day we're doing. Um, I really don't like this indent, this concave area. Um, maybe doing a flashback video down the road where uh, we have a little split here. This is a weak spot. So hopefully that never happens. Hopefully we can survive. Uh, that could have been from lack of water in the early days when that pumpkin was growing. That was always visible. And uh, as the pumpkin grows, it's just going to get more and more uh, obvious where that spot is. So really hoping it'll hang on. We're back at the plant and it has been a few days since I've measured because I don't think we're getting great gains right now. Uh, I'll know more when we measure, but it just doesn't look. Usually you can see the pumpkin grow, the blanket gets smaller. Um, I don't know, we got something weird going on with this plant. You can see our new growth is not looking good at all. Light green, these deformed smaller leaves, and it's kind of like that on the entire plant. All this new growth doesn't look right. And I don't know if this is a disease that we've picked up. Things are kind of like deformed. Look at that. That is really weird. The flowers like kind of mangled and that I've never seen a green and yellow female flower. So something weird going on here that we'll have to get to the bottom of. 
So it has been four days since we last measured. It is now day 26. This pumpkin is 26 days old and it is 166 pounds. So this pumpkin has gained 57 pounds in four days. So that's about 14 pounds a day. That's okay. I don't want to make it sound like it's not good. Like that's still pretty crazy, pretty amazing what these fruit can do. Um, but you know, I've had 40 pound days before in the past in a real garden. Back at the compost pumpkin and we are going to need a bigger blanket to cover it. That's always a good thing when your blanket gets too small. It's getting more difficult to measure, which is also a good thing. One hundred and one inches circumference. So it's been 32 days since we pollinated this tiny pumpkin and it is now 250 pounds. Still averaging about 14 pounds a day. A couple days ago I went through the plant and weeded it heavily. It was really bad, had a lot of weed growth in it. Kind of embarrassing when you got to come out with a camera, put it on a garden or a plant. Uh, you better make it look half decent. So I took a ton of weeds out of there that was really grown in. And I also cut a lot of vines off, any of that third stage growth. Super nice leaf canopy, open, we can see through it, the wind's blowing through it at me right now. Um, so good air circulation for this plant to stay healthy. Um, when I weeded this plant, the best thing I learned, or the best part about weeding this plant, was I think I am severely underwatering this plant because of this mound that we're growing on. When I was pulling the weeds up, I was kind of flipping up the dirt because this compost stays so nice and loose. Um, but what I noticed is it was dry all throughout the side of this pile. At the top I could get a little bit more moisture on, but as I was watering with that fire hose, which is probably not the best thing to be watering with, the water would hit the surface and run down to here. So all along the perimeter of this pile, I'm very, very dry. And I think that's been an issue and maybe part of the reason we had our leaves kind of go a certain color. This plant was under stress and maybe not getting enough of something, some element, but um, I also think I was really dry and pushing that plant a little bit too hard. So from now on, we're going to water heavier. The dreaded bird bath pumpkin. You never want a bird bath. Beautiful orange color though. This is one of the deepest orange pumpkins that I've ever grown and it's just going to get more and more orange as the days go by. Back at the pumpkin, we're in late August. This is where growth just kind of tapers down slowly. The plant is fully grown, so there's not much to do there. Um, the pumpkin is still growing, but slowly. The nights are getting cooler, so we're going to have lower weight gains. Not a whole lot to do with the pumpkin these days. You just kind of stop by, make sure there's no splits. It'll split here or at the stem or on this terrible sag that we have on the pumpkin. But so far, so good. We have no holes in the pumpkin. That would definitely end our season. It's been quite a while since I've measured this pumpkin. Uh, not sure how long we'll plug in the date and that'll tell us when we last measured. Um, but I do know the pumpkin's still growing because the last time I measured, I just threw my tape down and the wind must have blown it and now the pumpkin has grown on it and I can't get my tape out. So this thing is still growing, it's still pushing out and uh, I gotta get this tape out of here before we can measure it. Come on. Wow. I don't wanna break my tape. It's an old antique. They don't make these pumpkin tapes anymore. Come on. Oh my God, that's tight. Wow, it's actually still growing pretty well. There's our compost. I can maybe dig down. It's packed so hard. Here we go. One more rib to get around. <laughs> wow. Come on. Come on. Wow. That's really under there. I'm stretching my tape. I'm gonna have a longer measurement. There we go. Wow. And now the circumference. This is gonna to get tough because this pumpkin's actually pretty big right now. So I wanna just stay completely parallel to the ground at the widest outside point. Trying to stay wide and straight, around, level with the ground. 120 inches. 
10 feet. Pretty cool, we have a 10 foot circumference on this pumpkin. So this pumpkin is 48 days old, so it's been 48 days since we pollinated the pumpkin with a little male flower, and it is now 440 pounds. So we're almost at our 500 pound goal. The last time we measured was eight days ago, and it has put on 90 pounds in those eight days. So it's still doing about 11 pounds a day, which is pretty good for this time of year and at 48 days old. It starts to slow down after day 40. Um, the shape's okay, kind of a blobby one. This is a terrible sag. I can't believe it hasn't split here yet on us, but hopefully we can finish the year without a sag here. I'll get a close-up of this. It is just crazy deep. It doesn't look healthy at all. It gets very weak as the weight of this pumpkin starts to drop into the cavity. There's dirt collecting in there. It's so deep. The rain sits in here. I'm trying to keep it dry. Um, really don't want to come out one morning and see a crack here, but there's probably a 50-50 chance that cracks. It's definitely a weak spot. Overall, it's been pretty good. Quite impressed with this compost pile. Really just some water and uh, letting that leaf mold, that leaf and coffee mix of compost do the rest. And uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to hit 500 pounds if we can stay away from a, a crack or a split. So we'll keep pushing it with some water. It's actually had some... We've actually had some rain lately, so I haven't had to water, I haven't had to really do anything. That's the nice thing if you want to grow a giant pumpkin. You put that work in up front, cutting the vines, burying them, getting them all cleaned up. But once the plant's full grown, you can really just sit back and watch it put on 10 or 20 pounds a day. It's kind of cool. It is now September. We still have a pumpkin growing. It's still putting on a few pounds per day, getting a little bit bigger each day. Uh, the plant looks old. It's been around for a while now. Some of those older leaves are now probably 80 days old. So they've seen a lot of weather, a lot of wind, and uh, it's starting to look like an older plant. This is when your growth is going to slow down a little bit, but I think we're going to be able to make it to the finish line here for Halloween, have a really big, heavy pumpkin. I'm going to take one more measurement on it and uh, we'll see where we're at. We're trying to get to that 500 pound mark. Uh, we might be there. It's going to be pretty close. So this pumpkin is 63 days old. It is day 63. Uh, it's been about two weeks since I measured it. So in those two weeks, it's put on 61 pounds. So it's really just down to about four or five pounds a day right now. It's just cruising to the finish line. Pretty big pumpkin and it is estimating exactly at 499 pounds. So we are going to hit 500 pounds probably tomorrow, maybe tonight. It'll put that pound on. So there we go, we've hit our goal of 500 pounds. This pumpkin is only growing in compost. This is a giant pile of compost that we made from a million fallen leaves and probably a couple thousand pounds of coffee grounds. There's a lot of coffee grounds in there. Um, so really happy with that. Just wanted to kind of see how much energy, how much power we could get out of this compost. And uh, this pumpkin's grown quite well here with pretty much neglect from me. I haven't babied it, no fertilizers, no nothing. It was just water and rains. So thanks for watching this one. It was fun to watch this pumpkin grow. We've still got a few more weeks if we can dodge that F word, that frost word. Uh, frost could be around the corner, but we'll see how long we can keep this guy going, uh, see how big we can get this pumpkin.